everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and it's our daily card reading for September 15th, 2021. If you have not checked out all of the Archangel meditation challenges, this is deep work. This is deep work. I did put something up over for each, and there's several Archangels at this point, too many to mention, but the latest one is Archangel Raziel, who's all about transformation. So he is wonderful to be working with during these times. And what's so funny, he's all about alchemy and all of that. Uh, and that's the process that we're in. I had thought, well, Raziel is such a unknown archangel. Will people, you know, see the value in it? You know, will they go to it? And I skipped ahead. I went right past Gabriel. Gabriel's next. Uh, and I went ahead and did the Razia one. And now all of a sudden the floodgates are open about all of this alchemical process and how we as a society and the earth and humanity and the universe are trying to get us to <laughs> shift on through and, and find our way. So make sure, if you're ready, get on over there and check it out. Gumroad.com slash angel souls. Anywho. You're finding your way. Yeah. And this is in your personal life, but also how you respond to the things that are happening out in the world. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Gratitude. Look at that. There is something here where you're just so grateful. You know, even if things are not looking the way you had always anticipated. Hey, I have a home. Hey, I have a job. Or if you don't have a job, hey, I have some time now to really... Um, check in with myself and do this spiritual work and see what might be a better direction for me to go in or what have you. Okay. Gratitude for gratitude for even the soulmates that have come in, even if they have caused you some pain or, you know, and a lot of times people, these soulmates come in to teach the lessons and we're resistant to those lessons. And so we keep struggling and we keep, you know, going over the same old ground basically needlessly <laughs> needlessly and so you might have gratitude when you have perhaps a breakthrough that's really what it feels like today is a great potential for a breakthrough and it might lighten your heart it might you know lift uh something off of your shoulders even if there are horrible things going and there always are there's always something on the news there's always some event that's happening the world is always those are just the things that get reported <laughs> you know there's always something going on you have gratitude that you know how to process this or and let me make it clear it's not like gratitude that that's not me so glad that didn't happen to me what you see in another is also in you and when you are trying to just be self there's self-awareness and then there's self-centeredness okay and when you're just concerned about yourself and you're not concerned about someone else or you don't really care about someone else, that wouldn't be this audience, but whatever. If you know these people, you know what I'm talking about, you're hurting yourself too. We're all in this together and we are one, okay? We are just different iterations, however you want to see that, of an oversoul, okay? So of one being. So... Just be careful with that. So anyway, gratitude. <laughs> Make sure you're expressing gratitude. Maybe even do a gratitude exercise today. Whatever it is, but just to help you, uh, you know, because we're working on that centeredness. We're working on peace. We're working on bringing it here so that we can be a part of the solution and not be constantly contributing to the issue. All right? We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.